first time you're here, let me introduce myself. I'm Ryan. I make satirical documentaries about global scams, fake news, mind control, cults, extreme ideologies, the exploitable human nature. In this season, I'm documenting my investigation into plant-based diets. Why? Well, someone has to do it. Unless you're one of those naive souls who went vegan overnight after watching some plant-based commercial disguised as a science documentary on Netflix, you may want to know if what they say is true or not. I would. Here's one of their claims. Humans are herbivores. I saw this in a tweet of PETA, the animal rights organization. And it's on their website too, so I suppose they really mean it. Should we take them seriously? After all, many people would agree that PETA is just a cash cow for professional vegan trolls well known for obscene publicity stunts, such as cracking stupid jokes like Jesus Christ was a vegetarian, targeting children with free gory comic books called Your Mummy Kills Animals, or hitting a new low with a campaign called Holocaust on your plate, where they compare meat eating to the mass murder of millions of human beings. Shame on you, Peter. Luckily, only a tiny minority takes it to these extremes like that vegan teacher. And we shouldn't believe everything they say. That would be silly, right? But as it turns out, it's a much bigger story. If you start googling, are humans herbivores? Oh boy, you're gonna open a can of worms! The idea of anatomically herbivorous humans is nothing but pseudoscience, and it was only known among the craziest fringe vegans up until 2017, when it goes mainstream with the plant-based documentary What the Health, from the same guy who made Cowspiracy. Not surprisingly, around this time the vegan propaganda channel Plant Based News makes a bunch of videos with one of the doctors from the documentary who says this. Well, it's because we really are not omnivores. We are true herbivores. We should not be eating animal food at all. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Dr. Milton Mills. He is a high-ranking member of the Physicians' Committee for Responsible Medicine, an animal rights activist group disguised as a medical association, where he is a major contributor to their position papers. And now, let's connect the dots. PCRM has many ties with PETA. The founder and president of this committee, Dr. Neil Barnard, a psychiatrist by profession, another vegan, is the former president of the PETA Foundation and not accidentally PETA donated large sums of money to Barnard's committee. So these comrades appear in the documentary What the Health as so-called health experts, pushing the claim that meat is extremely unhealthy because humans are, well, you know. I know it's a lot to take in, but this is where things start to get really interesting. A few months after What the Health debuted, the big budget Hollywood production The Game Changers is released on the 19th of January 2018, promoting the same stupid idea. Our bodies are naturally built to eat only plants. Just four days later, Peter writes the article claiming that humans are anatomically herbivorous. Then, Earthling at the famous vegan influencer publishes a video with similar claims on the 28th of January 2018 and makes a free downloadable PDF in which he repeats them. <laughs> what a coincidence! Just saying. 
you don't have to be a Sherlock Holmes to put two and two together. The gullible quickly jump on the herbivore bandwagon and boom, the damage is done. The vegan echo chamber is loud with the most ridiculous argument ever made against meat. Everybody loves a good story. But why isn't this on the front page of National Geographic yet? We'll find out in the next episode.